Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Stephanie. In this video, we're going to show you a fun and easy way to paint your girls' room. We will start with this plain drab room and with a few simple tools, transform it into an enchanting space for your girls. Let's get started. We've gone ahead and painted the room in a semi-gloss robin's egg blue. Want to be sure to save some of this base coat paint for touch-ups later on. We also pulled up the old carpeting, primed, and painted the concrete. This could be a great option if you're working on a budget. Now let's go over some of the tools we'll be using. The Splendid Garden Stencil Kit from MyWonderfulWalls.com contains 34 large stencils, all of which are self-adhesive, so you won't need any tape or spray adhesive. It also includes a variety of brushes and has extra release paper to store your stencils on. In addition to what comes with the kit, we'll also use some paper plates, some chalk, and an assortment of acrylic paints. Before we start painting our scene, we need to consider where the furniture will be so that we can incorporate it into our designs. So with some chalk, we'll mark out where the major pieces will be. For practice, we're going to start with something simple like the sun. Remove the stencil from the paper factory, place the stencil on the wall, and rub it down with your hand, making sure that all the inner edges are down. I'm going to be using a 3-inch foam brush, dipping it lightly in some acrylic paint. Be sure not to get too much paint on the brush, otherwise it might bleed under the stencil. It's important to use a stabbing or dabbing motion to paint, particularly around the edges. If you use a back and forth motion, the paint could work its way under the stencil. Usually two coats of paint will do. Once the paint is semi-dry, remove the stencil. It's that easy. Now that we've practiced with the sun, we're going to begin the scene with a tree. It's the largest element, so we'll start with it and work our way out. The tree goes in four pieces and measures six feet, nine and a half inches. I've measured and made a mark on the wall where I want the top of the tree to be. And now, I just hold the sheet at the top edge, keeping it taut, and place the stencil against the wall. Use the same method with the other pieces. Hold the stencil at the top edge on the inside of the notches, keeping it taut. Line up the notches and place it on the wall. If you don't line it up perfectly, that's okay. It'll still look good in the end. You may need to feel like and re-stick some areas in order to get it flat. Before you start painting, go ahead and rub your hand over all the edges, making sure they're down. It's okay if some of these plastic cross bridges aren't all the way down. We're going to paint those in anyway. In order for these large stencils to hold their form, the design needs to include bridges, which leaves some unpainted areas. So, once the stencil is removed, just come back and paint them in. You can use a hair dryer to speed things up. Now let's paint in the rest of the scene. You can create depth in a scene by layering elements, such as painting this grass in front of the fence and the flowers in front of the grass. And if you mess up, don't worry, just paint over it. Here it is. In a single weekend, we have transformed this room into a joyful and whimsical girl's room. We hope this easy and fun method has inspired you to paint your daughter's room. And remember, at MyWonderfulWalls.com, we made it easy for your walls to be wonderful.